Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make all kinds of different videos, so be sure to check out my channel, and if you like what you see, hit the red subscribe button down below. That'd be so awesome. It's hard to believe that the holidays are already here and that it's time to start thinking about what to give people for Christmas, but it's officially that time of year again. I know it may seem a little bit early for some people, but I feel like with COVID and everything, if you're gonna be ordering gifts online, you probably should do it sooner rather than later, just because I know a lot of shipping times are delayed. So I thought I'd go ahead and film a holiday gift guide for you guys just to give you guys some good gift ideas for this year. I tried to make these more unique. I love giving gifts and I like making them really unique and special. So I thought why not share some gift ideas with y'all. I tried to include a really wide range of gift ideas on this list that could work for just about anyone, whether it be guy, girl, someone older, someone younger. I have some lower price items if you're on a budget and then some higher ticket items as well if you're willing to splurge a little bit. Also, all the products that I mentioned in this video, I will link below in the description box for you guys. If something happens to not be available, I'll try to just link a similar product or give you guys an idea of something similar you could give. All right, let's hop into my list of holiday gift ideas. So the first thing I have on my list is a makeup eraser. I asked for one of these for Christmas last year and I've been loving it so much. I don't know how I survived without one. If you aren't familiar with makeup erasers, they are those washcloths. It's like a microfiber washcloth and it takes off your makeup with just water. At first when I heard about these, I was really skeptical and I was like, there's no way just a washcloth and water is gonna take off all my makeup, but it really does. And it's been so nice not having to buy makeup wipes anymore and just using that. You can just throw it in the wash with your towels and then reuse it as many times as you want. I think that would make such a good gift for someone because then they never have to buy makeup wipes again. It's also good for the environment and it's just a really practical gift too and something they're going to use almost every day. Okay, the next gift I put on my list are blue light glasses. If you aren't familiar with blue light glasses, they are glasses that protect you from the blue light that's emitted from most screens that we stare at, like our computer screen or our phone screen. So this is a really good gift for someone. I love my blue light glasses so much and I seriously notice a difference like if I've been staring at my screen for too long without them and I start to get a headache if I put my blue light glasses on it's dramatic difference this would just be such a great gift for someone especially since a lot of people are working from home and like staring at their laptops all day and there's all different price ranges of blue light glasses you can buy too so this is a good gift for a guy girl someone younger or older okay the next thing on my list is a satin pillowcase I got one of these last year and I've been loving it if you are familiar with the benefits of satin pillowcase basically if you invest in your skincare routine and you put a lot of products in your face at night you probably know that like a regular cotton pillowcase can absorb a lot of the oil on your face and then it can transfer onto your hair and then the product isn't even like staying on your face so with a satin pillowcase it just prevents transfer of product from your face to the pillowcase and then it's also better for your hair like it prevents breakage and stuff like that so I think that would be a really great gift for someone. The next gift idea I have is a higher priced item and that is an espresso machine. I would love to have an espresso machine. I think I'm gonna put one of those on our wedding registry. But I'm someone who is a big Starbucks fan and I thought I always hated espresso. Like Starbucks espresso tastes like dirt to me, honestly. And then one of my friends was like, okay, I got an espresso machine. I'm gonna make some for you. You have to try it. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't think I really like espresso. But after trying it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is nothing like Starbucks Dirt Espresso. This is actually so good. And you can just drink it plain and it's honestly just like a really rich coffee. The one she made for us, like the Nespresso maker comes with its own little pods, kind of like a Keurig. So I don't think she even sweetened it or put any kind of creamer or anything. It was good just on its own. So after that, I was hooked and I'm like, okay, I'm an espresso fan. I just haven't been having the right kind of espresso. So I think that would make a really great gift for anyone in your life who loves coffee and if you're willing to splurge a little bit on someone. The next gift I have on my list is a shower speaker. I'm someone who loves to listen to music in the shower and I don't have a shower speaker so I would love to get one of these but I always have like my phone playing at top volume right outside my shower and sometimes it's still hard to hear it and like if I ever want to change the song or something like I have to dry my hands and like reach out and change the song and it's just like really annoying and complicated so it would be so awesome to have a shower speaker in your shower that you can listen to music and it's waterproof so you don't have to worry about like your phone getting water damage or anything like that and you can just safely listen to music in your shower I think that would be such a fun gift for someone 
Next gift idea I have is a bathtub pillow. I got one of these a few years ago. If you know someone who likes taking baths, I definitely recommend this because sitting in a bathtub for a while is supposed to be relaxing, but honestly, after a while, it can get really uncomfortable if you don't have a bath pillow because like the back of most bathtubs, like you can't really lie back on it. So it's really great to have a bath pillow just to be able to take a nice relaxing bath. Next thing on my list are Lush bath bombs. If you aren't familiar with Lush, they are a UK skincare bath product beauty company and they are a really sustainable brand all their products are cruelty free and they've become really popular here in the US as well there's a lot of lush stores here now and I absolutely love their bath bombs I was looking at their website and they have really cute Christmas gift ideas too they have like a bunch of adorable Christmas themed bath bars and shower bars but aside from that lush just has so many great skincare and bath products so I think that would be such a great gift for someone. Honestly, just going on their website and looking at everything, like I wanna buy stuff for myself and other people. They just have so many great gift ideas on their website. And how cute would it be to do like a little duo gift? Like you could get someone the bathtub pillow and a bath bomb. I think that would just make such a great gift. The next gift that I think would be great to give is a pair of AirPods. Obviously, if you get the Apple ones, those are gonna be more expensive, but honestly, I think the dupes you can get from like Amazon or Target or Walmart work just as well. I don't have a pair of wireless earbuds so I'm going to be asking for a pair of those for Christmas. I think it would be like a really good stocking stuffer and just a really great gift for anyone. The next thing I have on my list is a coloring book. Honestly this could be for someone of any age. I love getting coloring books. I think it's so fun and relaxing and they make all kinds of really cool ones. Like a few years ago my fiance got me a coloring book that was like different wrappers and you color in the wrappers so that was really cool. I know Anthropology sells one that's different cities so each page is a different city you can color in and it would be a really good gift if you gave like a coloring book and then a nice set of colored pencils or something from a craft store. I would personally love to receive something like that so I think it would make a great gift for someone else especially since we're spending so much time at home it kind of gives you something to do too. The next thing I have on my list is an astrology necklace. I feel like astrology has become so big especially this year like everyone's into their zodiac sign I feel like like and knows all about it. Really astrology anything would make a good gift. Like honestly if I got like a Pisces anything I would love it and be super excited about it. But I think the necklaces are really cool. Both the ones that have like the symbol of the zodiac sign or like spell out your actual zodiac sign are really cute too. If you know someone who's into astrology or even if they just like dainty necklaces and jewelry I think that would be a really cute gift. And then speaking of jewelry, the next gift I have are the Pura Vida bracelets. If you aren't familiar with Pura Vida, they sell those like stackable friendship style charm bracelets and I feel like those are always in style and really cute for anyone. They have so many different ones to choose from on their website. They have all different colors and styles and different charms and there's just lots of cute things on their website that I think would make a really cute gift if you just need a little extra something to give to someone or something small or it would make a really great stocking stuffer too. The next thing I have on my list are claw clips. These are coming back and are so trendy now. There's so many cute ones. Shein has some for like a dollar and three dollars that are so cute. And then I also saw some on Verge Girl that were a little bit more expensive, but they were so, so cute. So I'm definitely gonna be buying some for myself and I feel like they'd make a really great gift for any girl on your list. And also they're smaller, so it would make a great stocking stuffer too. The next thing I have on my list is a phone case. I personally love the wildflower cases. I have like six of them and I'm obsessed. They're all really cute and they have the best designs in my opinion. I feel like phone cases used to be one of those things where you were just kind of like one and done, like it wasn't a big deal, you just had your one phone case, but now they're just such a big accessory. I feel like people switch it up and change it just because there's so many cute designs that you can choose from. I think that would make a really cute gift idea. Like I said, Wildflower has so many cute designs and then I know like Casetify sells the really cute ones where you can put your name on it that looks super trendy and cool. The next gift idea I have is something I'm gonna be asking for for Christmas this year as well and that's one of those blowout brushes. I think the Revlon one was the one that really blew up on TikTok, but I know there's all different kinds of brands and I feel like blowouts are just super trendy and I personally would love to have a tool that like dries your hair and styles it in one. So I think that would be a really great gift for someone. The next gift idea I have is always a go-to and a safe choice and that is a candle. Obviously the Bath & Body Works ones are always great, 
but I've seen some really fun unique ones this year. The Lexpot like twisted candles, those are so cool and I want one of those for my house. I think I'm going to buy one for myself this Christmas. And then I've seen the like bust form ones from Urban Outfitters, those are so cool. I think those are really trendy. And then they make all kinds of just like really unique candles. I know there's a website called Homesick and you can buy candles that are supposed to smell like different cities and countries. I feel like that would be a really good gift, especially with COVID canceling a lot of people's travel plans this year. How cool would it be to give someone a gift of candle from a city or country that they didn't get to go to this year if their trip was canceled. Like personally, if someone got me a London candle because my London trip got canceled this year, I would be so over the moon and excited about it. So I think those are really cool gifts to give. The next gift idea I have is a cheese board. I feel like charcuterie boards have become such a trendy and big thing this year and Anthropology sells really, really cool cheese boards. They have like the agate ones that are a little bit more expensive and then Urban Outfitters also sells some really cool ones. I saw they had one that was shaped like a mushroom and one that was shaped like a daisy, but you could really find one from anywhere like Amazon. Target, any home goods store, you could splurge on it or find a lower priced one, but I think a cheese board would make a really cute gift. And you could even turn it into like a gift basket and give them the cheese board with like different cheeses and crackers and spreads. That would be such a cute gift. The next thing I have on my list is a card game or a board game. I know Cards Against Humanity is always popular, so if you know someone that doesn't have that game, I feel like just about anyone likes it, as long as they're an adult. I saw that Urban Outfitters sells that new game called For the Girls. That game looks so fun, obviously more on the adult side because it looks kind of raunchy, but I definitely want to get that for like my bachelorette party. I think that would be a really fun gift. Urban Outfitters also sells that card game. It's like, I think it's called We're Not Really Strangers and it's supposed to just be about like making connections. So I feel like card games and board games are something really fun to do with people in your household or if you have friends over, especially since we're spending more time at home, that's something really fun you can do and something that's different. That's not just like watching TV or a movie. It's a really fun activity that you can do and kind of like a bonding experience too. So I think that would make a great gift for someone too. The next gift idea that I have is something that you'd want to give someone if you know them a little better, and that is a framed picture. If you know how someone's house or room is decorated, it'd be really cute to buy a frame that kind of matches their interior decor, and then put a little picture of the two of you in it, or whoever you're giving it to. I think that would be a really great gift, and something really personable and special as well. The next gift idea I have are collegiate sweatshirts. This could be a gift for basically anyone. Collegiate sweatshirts are really trendy this year, especially if you wear like a polo underneath it or a little mock neck turtleneck. I feel like these are going to be in style all the way through winter into the cooler months of spring too. So a great gift for someone and you don't have to give them like the college they went to necessarily. I feel like just collegiate sweatshirts in general are really trendy and really cute. The next gift idea I have is a Polaroid camera. These are always super trendy and fun. Urban Outfitters sells some and I think they're about like $60. They might have some a little cheaper, some a little more expensive. But I think that would be a really fun gift for someone. Polaroid pictures are always a lot of fun to take and look back on. And they're one of those things that you can like put around your house to decorate and make a really cool like Polaroid collage on your wall. So I think that would make a great gift for someone as well. The next gift idea I have is face masks. We have to wear these or at least we should be wearing these anytime we leave our house pretty much. And we're probably going to still be wearing them for quite a while. So why not stock up? give someone some more face masks. You can get really cute ones from just about anywhere, any style, any design. The next gift idea I have is a subscription box. This is a really good gift because it's a gift that they're not only going to get like at Christmas, but they're going to get it throughout the year too. So each time they get their subscription box, whether it be monthly or quarterly, it's like the gift that keeps on giving and they're going to think of you every time they get it. There's so many great subscription boxes out there. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a bit, you know I've subscribed to a lot of food subscription services that send you boxes filled with snacks from different countries each month. Those are so fun. I definitely recommend Universal Yums, Snack Crate, 
Try My Treats. Those are some really good ones. FabFitFun is always a good option. It's a little bit more expensive, I think, but you definitely get your money's worth in the box. I know Ipsy is like a makeup subscription service that sells you organic, clean makeup, so that would be a really great gift for someone. There's honestly a subscription box for anything that someone could possibly be interested in. So if you know someone likes a particular topic or thing, you could just Google like that kind of subscription box and I'm sure you'd find something that you could gift them. The next thing I put on my list is products from Glossier. This could really be anything. If you aren't familiar with Glossier, they are a makeup and skincare line and their whole thing is that they're pretty minimalistic so it's good for people who don't really wear makeup that much or don't wear a lot of makeup. All the way to someone who is really into skincare and makeup and wears a good bit. They have products that are pretty universal and good for anyone, so definitely check out their website. I know they have all kinds of little gift sets and stuff you can get people, so anything from Glossier I feel like would make such a good gift, and it's a really safe gift idea too if you aren't sure about someone's particular like preferences on skincare and that kind of thing. They make it really easy to find the right kind of product for different skin tones and skin types, so definitely would recommend Glossier. Also going along with the makeup idea, I think lip gloss is a really safe option for someone if you want to get them makeup but aren't really sure like what kind of products they would like. I feel like everyone wears lip gloss pretty much and there's so many different shades to choose from and I feel like people like obviously have their go-to lip gloss shades but if I received like any shade of lip gloss I would wear it like there's not a single shade of lip gloss that I don't wear so I feel like lip gloss would be a really good gift for someone and the last thing on my list is an ornament I think ornaments are such a great gift there's so many different cute ornaments out there too. Like last year for our tree, I got engaged around Christmas time, so at Target I found a really cute ring ornament. And I feel like each ornament just tells a story and has something so special about it. You can also find some that aren't expensive and some that are more expensive. So, so there's just a lot of different ornaments you could choose from that would make a really good gift for someone. Thank you guys so much for watching my holiday gift guide. I hope you got some good ideas from it. If you did or if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll stick around by hitting the red subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment, share this video, and I will see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye!